Hey folks, it's Dave back here out of my gaming funk as I'm playing some Pro Strategy Football 2021. It just got re, uh, released the other day and I'm playing this here and boy, I tell you, this is pretty cool. Uh, so let me uh, show you, this is my first look video about this game. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is um, get it on Steam. I think it's 20 bucks on Steam. Download the game, set it up. And then you want to want to get the modifications, the mods for this game, because that really makes this shine. Everyone's asking, where do you get them and how do you do it? All right, let me start off with that first. So if you go here, this is the site. I don't know if you can see it at the top here. The website is Apollo1980.wixsite, W-I-X-site.com forward slash PSF teams for pro strategy football teams. 21 slash seasons, okay? You can see at the top of the screen here. You go here, and it brings you to the screen. Down here is where I got the seasons and all the graphics for the game. So let's just say you wanted to, to do 1978. You put your mouse over 1978. You click on it. It brings you up to a download screen, and you download a zip file. You unzip the zip file, and there's instructions on where to put it, and it really is that easy. It's just in your documents slash uh, the PSF football folder. And then you put your league in the league folder, the schedule in the schedule folder, and then there's a, um, a generic folder for the season. So in this case, it would be 1978. That goes into the images folder. Just drag the whole folder in. So drag the, the folder into the images, the, the league schedule to the schedule, and then the league itself into the leagues, and you're done. Okay? Pro tip. Pro tip. I had a hard time doing it the first time I went to do this. And I was like, what am I doing wrong in a whole bit? Well, what I did is I downloaded the game. And so I thought it was all set. But you actually need to run it one time to finish setting up. Because I could not find the uh, the Pro uh, Strategy Football folder in my documents anywhere. I looked everywhere. I was all over the place. When I finally clicked to run the game, the game finished setting up. So then I exited the game. And when I went back into my documents uh I could find the folder, and they dropped in that easy. It really is. But make sure you not only install the game, but you run the game uh, at least once, and then you can exit out, and it'll finish setting up. So get your mods here. I downloaded a bunch of seasons here that I enjoy, 77, 78, 79. There's, there's a whole bunch here. There's USFL. There's WFL. There's a whole bunch of things here that you can download. So that is where you find the mods to put into this game, and they've done a fantastic job with it. I wish I could learn how to do that. Maybe I will. Okay, back to the game. So this is where we are in the game now. And you can do a few things. You can do a quick exhibition game. You can do a single season or a career play, okay? So if we click on a single season, you can see the ones that I've already started up here. I've started 1978. I've started 1979. And if you create a new single season, okay, it just shows you all the ones that I've downloaded, 76, 78, 79, blah, 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 all the way up to 1994 and 2020. So I could click on any of these and start up a brand new season. Okay, I haven't tackled career play yet, so I, I can't really speak on that yet. Uh, exhibition game where it gets kind of fun. And uh, so we'll click on this. So what I'm going to do is if, much like action PC football, it saves after every play unless you tell it not to, okay? So if, if, if you have a crash or if you got to go, you can pick up and leave and go right back. So I can pick up a load save game, and these are a couple of the games that I've been playing. I'm not going to load those. I'm going to do a new one, okay? So I'm going to switch the league. So right now I'm in 2020, okay? So if I wanted to switch the league, I go and put in any of the seasons that I downloaded from that mod page that I just showed you, okay? For right now, I'm going to keep it 2020 because what I want to do is go to a new quick game, and I set it up already, so we have Tampa Bay against New England. So I have Brady going against Cam Newton here in my exhibition game. And you can see the uh, the guys down here. And then the customization is really fun. I'm tripping over my words here because there's so much to talk about. So I can go here. New England is going to wear the white jerseys. Okay, so now look. New England's in white. Tampa's in red. Yeah, I love that. I love that feature. So I'll put New England back in the, the dark jersey because they're home. And this is where you could set up your, your customized game or your scenario. So if you wanted to say, hey, New England's ahead with seven points left with, you know, two minutes to play, can Brady lead uh, Tampa Bay to the win? So you could put in all these things here and make it work. And let me get rid of my camera because I'm probably in the way. Sorry about that. Um, so, yeah, so you could set up your scenario here. 
And you could have, uh, you know, time, the quarter, the down, and see if Brady could do it. You could even set your weather. So I could put rain, heavy rain. I could even go snow. All right. Um, so now we're going to have a snow game here. I can compare the teams, see what they're doing. I can analyze the game if I want to. I can even run some sims to see how it goes. Yeah, so there's a whole bunch of things you can do here. Now, uh, as far as playing, if you wanted to play like like Jucket style, with both offenses, you have to set this up over here, okay? This is where you click around. So you have to put player one and player two, and you actually play as both players is, is how this works. Uh, I think player one is always visitor. I have not yet found a way to make the home player one unless you're playing against a computer. So you can see it automatically switches, okay? So let's get this rolling here. I'll show you a game. So, again, the customization is really fun. Oh, the rules. You can change all the rules here, too, to um, whatever you want it to be. There's a couple of options here for each one. It's really nice. And uh, you get the game plans, too. So you can – this this game goes pretty deep. I'm surprised how deep this actually goes. All right, so let's start the game itself. Now that I've kind of shown you how to do some of the mods and set up a quick game here, so let's go. So let's go to let's do this down here on the right hand side. All right, so choose a game level. This is another great thing about this game. It's got a casual, just one click mode, and then it's got expert. I'll show you a little bit of each. So let's go to casual mode right now. Okay, New England wins the toss. Now I'm playing as both teams right now, so I got to do all the clicking. So New England, as they normally do, we will kick. Okay, and you can go deep kickoff, onside, or squib. So we're just going to go deep, and then you go down here to go. Tampa Bay, do we want a deep lineup? Expect onside or squib. We'll go deep lineup. If it kicks in the end zone, we're going to uh, not return it if it goes in the end zone. Now we get down here to go. And you can see we have the snow. And I hope that is not too loud. And here we are. So it would be Tampa ball on the 23. Now I just got to click. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my settings. I'm going to take off the settings because it does get kind of loud. Okay, so as you can see, it does have audio, but I'm just going to take it off right now to show you, because it was kind of loud, and I don't know if I adjusted it correctly. All right, so I'm in casual mode right now, and you got a couple things you can do. you got your clock options, okay, so you can play normally. You can try to get out of bounds. You can stay in bounds, so you can really work the clock if you want to. Uh, you get your current rules of the game. Yeah, I'm in casual mode. I can change this if I want to. So I'm in, I'm in easy mode right now. If I want to change it, I get down here to the coach's hat on the left side. I can switch to expert, and I'll do that in one second. So you can say, hey, suggest a play for me. You can also do that um, in your settings. So if I go to my, where are my settings here? Menu, settings, coaching, auto suggest. I turn all these on. So you're automatically going to get a play that wasn't the previous run play. The coach is going to select offense and defense from you, and then you can either just go with it or you can choose something different. Uh, realism, I turned off the injuries. I have penalties, and I have this home and uh, uh, away ratings things on. I like to put players on smallest, okay, because it really makes them look better compared to the field instead of being really big. Uh, and size of the animation names is smaller too. That's what I like. And then the sounds, again, I just turned off all the sounds here so we can play a little bit. I might even turn off the snow. I wanted to show you the snow, but I might turn off the snow just to see, uh, show you how good it looks. All right, so in casual mode, you click on the play here. I'm going to do a running play, and I'm going to do an inside run, and that's it. Okay, that's what casual mode is. It's basically you, you come over here, you get your runs, you have your different kind of runs, you have your different kind of passes, you got a trick play, and that's what you got. So we're going to do a middle run. And go. Now, it's New England's turn because I'm trying to play both offenses. It doesn't – the computer will pick the defense, but I still got to click the button. So no, so technically, this would be player uh, one's turn right now, or, or player two, whichever it is. So you would call your defense now. Now, because I'm just doing offense, I'm gonna, I already had the computer select the play, and I'm going to let the defense run itself out. So I'm just going to hit go. So now here we are in the snow. And Brady hands it up the middle, and there's nothing going on there. Okay, now there is all sounds. Again, I turned off the sounds just to kind of show you this because they were kind of loud, and I didn't adjust it properly. But um, so, that, so that's the play. It tells you what happened on the play. You can even see the replay of the play if you want. You can even go slow-mo on the play. That's really cool. And you can skip it, and we're done. So now it's Tampa Bay's turn on second down. 
And so we're going to do a long pass. I like it. Just leave it right here. Long pass. New England's turn. I just click. I don't even look at what the defense picks if I'm just playing offense. So Brady's going to look deep. Fires, and that's incomplete on the side. Okay. So what I want to do now is I want to exit back to home screen. And I will quit delete this game because I really don't need this. I'm going to do another exhibition game. Quick game. And this time I'm going to keep it on clear sky so you can see the game a little bit better. I'll put New England in the white this time just to be different. And we're just going to, let's do this. Here we go. Casual mode again. Uh, Tampa Bay wins a toss. Tampa Bay will kick off. Go, go, and we're all set. So now you can see it's a little bit clearer now without the snow. But it is fun having the snow when you're on a snowy day. And again, sounds I turned off just for this video right here. So here's the Patriots returning the kick. And I like how it shows the guy's name right away. So if you you know, you know want to broadcast the game, you can say, hey, is this an old Zawiski guy? He's got the, the ball. He's returning it. And he's 21-yard return to the 24. So, okay, so now New England comes out. So Cam Newton's the quarterback here for New England. We're going to go medium pass and go. Tampa Bay's turn. I just hit go because I'm not even going to look at the defense. Sometimes I don't even want to see what the defense called. So Newton back to pass. He fires, and that's incomplete. Okay. So that is basic mode. Okay, I'll do one more basic play. Okay, so I'm going to go running play, outside run. Now, if I wanted to call the defensive play, I could go over here and say, what do I want to do? But the problem is, is that I already know what I called on offense. So you can't really play against yourself and be fair. But these are some of the defensive things you could do. So that's why I just hit go. I don't even look at what the defense calls. I just let the computer pick it. So this is going to be a run for New England now. White on the edge. He might have got a yard on the play. And so it's going to be third down. Okay, let me switch it over here into expert mode. And this does a couple different things here. So you can see now at the top, I have all these different scenarios here. So I'm going to do a outside run to the right. And now I can pick my, my set. I can go far, near. I can go strong right. I can go strong left. I can even say who's going to get the ball. Okay, so I can give it to uh, Burkhead or White. Okay, I can even click over here and say give him the ball. So if I want to give it to Burkhead, okay, I can give it to him. This displays the defense. It may not be accurate, but it just gives you an idea what the defense might look like. And then, okay, so this is expert now. So I just said pitch right, fast setup, strong left, and a half back. So Burkhead's going to get it and try to run to the right. He's not going to have any blocking, so it's probably not a, It's not going to work out that well. So maybe I'll click on this guy here, give him the ball, and I'll have Burkhead block. Okay. And now I'm going to hit go. And now it's Tampa's turn. I'm not even going to look at the defense. I'm just going to hit go. And let's see if this outside run works at all. He's got some blockers. Nope, that didn't work at all. And he's got a one-yard gain, so New England will have to punt. So normal punt, just go. Tampa Bay, normal rush, go. And here's the punt. Bailey kicks this one away. Fielded by Miller. And Miller brings it up to the 45, and that's where Tom Brady comes out. Now what I'll do, I'll put the sounds back on just so you can hear them. Hopefully they're not too loud. Switch images or audio. Hmm. Oh, don't want to do that. All right, so let's let's do um. Let's do this. All right, so I got the crowd on and I got some sound effects on. So this is the full effect. All right, so Brady, short pass pro set. This is what they selected for me. I kind of like it. I'll go with it. So let's just run this play. And now uh, Brady completes to Evans. First down. All right, first and 10. So that was a nice pass by Brady. So now it's back to Tampa. So let's just say I want to do a uh, medium pass this time. Pro set. Strong left. And this guy here, instead of the square out, I'm going to have him do a comeback. This guy here, instead of a square in, I'm going to have him go to the sideline. That's the pass that Brady got picked off on the other day. And I can make him the primary receiver if I want, but I'm going to keep Evans the primary receiver. And I'm going to keep the fullback the block. And I'm going to have this guy block too. 
So I'm going to have max protection in here and just send out three guys. So you can really get creative in here. But if you are noticing, though, when I play expert mode, uh, it does take a lot longer because you're setting up the individual play calls. Whereas the basic mode, you're just hitting generic stuff and it runs. So uh, I like having that option. So let's go. So then we're just going to hit New England defense. So Brady's going to go back to pass. Fires to his primary target. Caught. Nice catch by Evans. 17 yards. Okay. So Brady's got Tampa Bay moving here. Uh, so they suggested off tackle right with one back, strong left. I'll go with the off tackle right, but I want better runs. I'm going to go with the uh, pro eye, and this guy will get the ball, and he'll go here, and that's fine. And here comes the play now out of the eye formation. Run. Second down. Now picked up a couple yards. So Tampa Bay now at second and nine. So they want to call a long pass for Brady here. The New England 26. Why not? We can go for it. How about this guy here? So I'm going to have this guy do a little stunt into the corner. This guy, if I go here, it's going to be too busy. So I'm going to have him do a... Uh, like a... I should go post. No, oh, no, that's where he was going. I don't want to cross them up too much. How about a, a corner? No, that's where the other guy's going. He likes to throw to Evans. I'm trying to get this guy to cut in. Hook and go. Maybe. Maybe hook and go. I was trying to get him to cut across, but I can't get him to. So, All right, this will work. So this guy's going to stay in the block. I don't want any sacks right now. And let's see if Brady can get this one deep. Oh, good thing I kept him in the block. Fires. Got Evans. Touchdown. Touchdown. Tampa Bay, Brady to Evans, 26 yards. So you can even go back and watch the replay. Pretty cool. Touchdown. And then we're going to just kick the extra point. And this one is good. Wide right, no good. Oh, it's no good. It's wide right. Oh, my bad. It looked good for me. Oh, let's see that again. Okay. No good. No good on the play. So six nothing Tampa Bay. And what I'll do now? Let me uh, let me turn off the sounds. Let me go back to the sounds. Turn them off here so it doesn't distract me. So we're going to do the kickoff. I'm going to run a little bit of defense now, expert mode. And you can skip, too. You can click on the helmet and skip, and it just tells you what happened. Taking it to 1, return to the 17, so I skipped the play. So New England now, I'm not even going to look at what they called, okay? I'm going to go to Tampa Bay defense right now. So focus on the run formation. I'm going to go better versus run, so I'm going to go short yardage. The shift will be... Let's go wide. Coverage man to man. Run keys normal. We're going to look for uh, the halfback Burkhead. All right. And let's see how this plays out. Let's see if I got it right or wrong. Oh, no. They went to white. Oh, I got him, though. I got him for a one yard loss. So that ain't too bad. All right. So I'm not even going to look at what New England called. I turned away. And now we're going to focus on the pass. I don't know if I want to blitz. Can't blitz. Okay. We'll switch the man. And we're going to blitz the uh, middle linebacker. Okay, so we're going to blitz the middle linebacker. Man-to-man, -man, double Edelman. How about that? I'm double Edelman. And let's see how this goes. All right, Newton back to pass. Incomplete. I think he was trying for Edelman. Yep, and I doubled him up. So, yeah, this is, this is the kind of fun that you can have. Uh, in this game, as I just uh, wanted to show it off a little bit. Again, you can go to your clock options and you can, you know, hurry up or get out of bounds. It, it really covers everything. You can call your timeouts. I mean, you can switch back to casual at any time, which is fun. The only thing you, you can't do is I don't think you can switch teams. Is once once you're locked into whether you're playing the, as a team or not, you're locked in. Um, let's go back take a look at some of my highlights of the game. I have the uh, I can watch the replay of that touchdown pass. 
Brady to Evans. Nice catch, and there he goes. So, yeah, it's it's kind of it, it, this game is really fun. I'm I'm really impressed with the the manual is right here. You can click on everything and and read on it. It's it's easy to find. It tells you all about the game. Uh, you got some game stats here if you like. I got uh, my New England stats. I got my Tampa Bay stats. So yeah, it, it's pretty good. I, I I really like what they got here. The only thing that it's missing, and I did actually make my notes because we're going to be interviewing the developer here this week on DigitalToDice.com, the, our podcast, is I would like to see, and, and, and I have yet to find it if it's here, is the current drive. And that's what I really like about Action PCs. It tells you your current drive. It's like, you know, you know, eight plays, you know, four minutes, you know, 29 yards, whatever it is. It tells you how long the drive is because they've got a nice sustained drive. So that's the one thing I, I haven't seen in here yet. Uh, if it's here, I haven't found it. Um, so I'm not sure if it is. That's the only the only thing I think it's missing. Aside from that, this is so much fun to play. And again, you, you don't even have to watch the play. If you want, you can set it up so there's no animation, and you just call it, and it'll tell you uh, what happened. So you can really you know, speed this game up if you want. So I'm going to exit out of this, go back to my home screen. Uh, no, I don't need this game. I'll quit and delete. So if I go back to my single season, I started this one here, uh, 78. So I'm going to resume this one. And uh, I was playing, what was I playing? Okay, I was playing Washington and New England. In fact, I think I was actually at this game in 1978, if you can believe it. Because I went to, Washington didn't come to New England often, and I went to a Washington game at New England. I think Washington won the game, actually. So this might have been a game I was actually at. Now, you can see how you can play or watch a sim. See that asterisk? That means I've already started this game. So if I click on, I'm going to play or watch. So I'm going to, so I can either, I can go um. Let's start over, or I can load the save game. So that's kind of neat. So Washington has the ball. New England's up 14 to nothing here in the second quarter. And this is where I ended off last night before I went to bed. You can pick it right up from here. It's, it's just like that. It's really fun. So uh, let me um, back to the home screen here. I want to, yes, I want to keep this game. Don't, don't delete this game. Uh, and so this is, yeah, I've only started week one. I think I might play one game a week. Um, jacket styles they do and see if I can get through the season. So if I go to my standings, again, we haven't played anything yet. Um, but yeah, this is neat. And again, you can simulate the season, you can customize it. All the stuff factors into play here in this game. It really does a, a fantastic job of, um, it, it's point and click, point and click. Yeah, I think it's actually a little bit easier than action PC. Um, there's some things I still like about action PC over this game here, but Boy, I tell you, they have the graphics and all the options all rolled into one. This is uh, this is a hybrid football game. It really is. So I uh, hope you like this one here. I like this game a lot. We're going to talk to the developer this week. If you have any questions uh, that you'd like to ask, please post in the comments here. and We will ask them. We're recording this tomorrow night, so you only got about 24 hours to get those questions in. But anyway, I'm Dave. Come back on to say hi real quick. Put the camera up, and we'll talk to you later, everybody. Bye-bye.